Hey, Clayton Bates here, and I'm a registered Shopify expert authenticated by Shopify. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a gift card. I'm also making a series of videos showing you basically everything you need to know about Shopify. So subscribe if you want to be updated on those videos. And if there's any videos you want me to make, let me know in the comments. So let's get into it. So when you're in the back end of Shopify, you just want to click products here. Then you want to click gift cards. Then you want to click add gift card product. Now for the title, what I normally recommend is you put your business name dash gift card. And my business name is called inspire small business. So I'm going to put that dash gift card. Something like that works really well. Then the description here, I've talked about this in other videos on how to actually uh, update the content here, but it's very similar to how a word document works. If you want me to make a specific video on how to update this section, uh, because there's lots of sections like this throughout Shopify, let me know in the comments and I'll make that video. I already made a description, so I've just pasted in, it in here. It doesn't have to be too long. It can talk about um, all the different things about the, the gift card and things like that. This is very similar to how a product works. I'm going to show you how I make a product image for a gift card in a second also. But the de dominations here, you can put whatever you want. So 10, 25, 50, 100. If you want to put other ones, you can. So let's just say 60, for example. You can add them here. You can move these or the order of these in a minute once we save. And the, the SEO here works exactly the same if you watched the video uh, the other day on products. So if we, we can update the title here, we can update the description. It's a little bit messy at the moment, so we can make the description a little bit shorter if we wanted to. So let's do that maybe, oh, probably a little bit shorter. I can also make some very detailed videos about SEO if you leave some comments in the, the video. Uh, the more comments people leave about SEO, the more likely I'll make videos on SEO. I normally don't focus hard on SEO, but I can make some videos if you want. See, that looks a little bit more cleaner. The reason the link is very long is because I've made a very long Shopify name. I've called it like Clayton Bates Inspire Small Business. That's pretty long. Most likely yours won't be that long. So it'll look very neat on SEO on Google. And then over here is very similar to how the products work as well. So you can have it as a draft if you want, so people can't see it. You can have it published on online store, shop, Facebook group, uh, stuff like that. You can put product type gift card if you wanted to. This will be good for the filters if you add filters to your collection. Vendor is like brand name. <clears throat> if you have manual collections, you'd add it there. Um, tags, uh, you could put like gift card, for example. And then default template, gift card template. So it's actually a template for the gift cards. And then if you press save, it will actually save all this, except we haven't done the image yet, which we'll do in a minute. And then if you go down here where it says the dominations, you can, you can edit it and click and hold these dots to move them. So see how now the 60 is before the 100. So it's actually in order now. You can have different uh, pictures here as well. So you can actually add pictures if you wanted to. I normally just have the same image for all of them. What I also normally do to make that image is I'll go to a website called Placeit. I'll leave the first link in the in the bio below will be a link for Placeit. Uh, so this is what I normally do is I'll come here, I'll search gift card, for example. <clears throat> I found this is one of the easiest ways to do it. And I have all different stuff for gift card here. So whatever you want uh, the gift card to look like, you can. The one I like to use most of the time is this one here. So a lot of websites I've built, I've actually used this image here when someone's wanted a gift card. The one thing you have to know about gift cards is uh, this reward thing I've got in my website keeps popping up. But the one thing you need to know about gift cards is that one, some websites sell lots of gift cards, some don't. But I think it looks it makes your website look 
more professional when you actually sell have gift cards available even if no one buys them so it's definitely something to think about so when you're in this section you can change all the colors and stuff so if you wanted the background color to be white for example you click there i'll just move my head out of the way so you click there um, you can do custom and then go to white see how now it's white you can make the card colors different as well if you wanted to. So if we wanted them to be blue, you could. For example, see how the card colors have now changed. Now the actual design here, you can actually upload it to here. So normally what I recommend is just do it from, oh, whoops, wrong folder. I normally just do my logo. So I'll add my logo in here. You can make it whatever size you want. So make it a little bit smaller crop and now it's added my logo there. I might make the card colors white back to white just so it looks a little bit better. Card colors to white and then the other one. So what I'll do here is the design recently uploaded here, make it a little bit smaller, press crop. And then see how now we have gift cards and my logo on them. You can make the background color the same color as your website as well if you wanted to. So let's just do something that's sort of similar. Maybe there. So you could actually do that and it'll look really nice. And then what you do now is I really got to delete that reward app. What do you think? Do, you, do I need to delete it? Then you can click download. <clears throat> and it's going to download this it might take a second click the open it so it's going to open it up uh, we now have it so you can save it to your device right click save and then save to your device close it what you can do as well i've got multiple screens but you can drag the image into shopify so what I've done now, I've got the image here. I've dragged it from my desktop. So you could have the image here and then drag it sort of thing like that. And then it's added the image here. So if we click preview, it will actually have the image here. So see how it has the image, all the, all the stuff here, the description, all that sort of stuff here. If you go into the theme editor, so if we go online store themes, Customize. <clears throat> Default product here. You can change all this different stuff here. What you could do as well. So because see how we have these product tabs in the other video, I showed you how to add product tabs and stuff. What we could actually do is make a product template just for gift cards. So if we click here products and create template we could make one say gift card like that create template and then what we do now is we go back go to products click into here the reason why we're doing this is because we need different information on this page so we could go gift card we've made this template then press save then if we go back into our theme, so online store themes, into the customizer here, and then we click products and click gift card. So we made a special template just for the gift card. It was based off our other template. So we're going to have to remove some of this stuff. So move my head out of the way. If you're not sure, probably better to go back and watch the product uh, page here as well. So we can delete the size chart the shipping information because we don't need this. And then we can add a block. Maybe a good one would be collapse row. And then we could actually call this gift card policy, gift card policy. And then now see how we've got this little tab here, gift card policy. We could either make a gift card policy page, or we could put the content into here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a PDF that you can actually download and it'll be in the description. 
where I'll have like the product description, uh, the gift card description, uh, gift card policy uh, that you can that you can use as well and go from there. So basically that's why we want it to be different. And then you just press save. This website isn't built out because we're following the series and we're going step by step trying to build a website. And then that's basically it. You can remove UMass like from the gift card if you want. So down here, it says related products. You could hide it and see how now it's disappeared. It's only got this like that. Now, one other thing that people might say as well is what will happen is let's go to collection here. Move me over here. So best sellers and new arrivals. We normally put those collections onto a home page. And what will happen is a gift card might be a best selling product or a new arrival. And we don't want to, we normally don't want to display gift cards on the home page. So what you could actually do in these collections, I've already made a video about collections, which you can go, go back and watch. But if we click into best sellers here, <clears throat> we could actually put a condition product title does not contain gift card. So see at the moment how it's got gift cards here. If we add that condition, it's going to remove that gift card. Gift card. Unless it's taking a second. Yeah, so I just need to refresh. So now it's removed gift card uh, out of the best sellers and you can do that for new arrivals as well because I actually taught you how to do a best seller and new arrivals where it only puts uh, products that's available in your inventory there. So it will pull the gift card there. If you don't want it to be there, you can do that condition there. Hopefully that helped. Let me know what videos you want me to make next. Like I said, this is a series. So your comments and stuff help this to be the best series it can possibly be. So until next time, have a good one and talk to you soon. Bye.